Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, make sure you check us out on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash hookah anonymous underscore. You guys been telling us to create one for the longest, so we recently created a community where we will upload videos that we can't share on YouTube due to their guidelines, but we'll also be dropping the latest to their first behind the scenes information that you wouldn't find anywhere else on our socials. So make sure you become a member, and after you do that, head over to our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore and follow us there. Now without further ado, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, as if Rich Homie Kwan's case wasn't strange before, it looks like things done gotten a little bit worse. Now, from the beginning, I told y'all something ain't right. I know y'all like to say everything isn't a conspiracy, but I think we've learned through time and history that everything also isn't what they say it is, neither. Now, Rich Homie Kwan's incident report has been released, and now we are hearing that yet another family member, which is his brother, is also involved in the situation as well. At first, it started from nobody knowing how Rich Homie Kwan was discovered. Then we will later find out that his girlfriend or um, children's mother is the one that discovered him. And then it was her talking to the father. And now we're hearing that the brother also found him with food in his mouth. Now, um, when it comes to that, they're saying that he does. He's pretty much he's the first one that would technically have had discovered Rich Homie Kwan deceased. And let me show you how something don't make sense real quick, right? Right off the rip, when you go to XXL, the headline is that Rich Homie Kwan's brother found rapper asleep on the floor with food in his mouth hours before death. Now, this, <laughs> this would make sense for a lot of reasons because nine times out of 10, if he found Rich Homie Kwan, quote unquote, asleep with food in his mouth, he was deceased right then and there. He was dead there, right? Which means that he been discovered dead before the girlfriend actually made the 911 call that we all heard. But here's my thing. Why didn't the brother call the police, right? Why did the brother leave him there? Let's make sense of something, right, real quick. And this is why I always tell y'all, this is why you got to come to your own conclusions and do your own due diligence because if you leave it to the media they're going to tell you anything what sense does it make where you find somebody your brother right your brother whatever relative you find them on the floor quote unquote asleep with food in their mouth and you leave them there like it totally makes no sense and even if you thought they was alive and it was quote unquote sleep you know that if you have food in your mouth and you're asleep you could choke Right? You could choke and literally die, or you could just choke, period. Why wouldn't you wake him up? So something right there in that, it just don't make sense because let's say you discovered one of your family members that was asleep and they had food in their mouth. The first reaction you would do is try to wake them up. But yo, listen, wake up. You got food in your mouth. You went to sleep with food in your mouth. So you mean to tell me the brother didn't bother to wake him up, try to anything? He just left him there asleep with food in his mouth? all the way into the next morning and and here's the thing right here's another thing that's not making sense if he found him on the floor how did he get on the couch and now going back to what the girlfriend said the girlfriend said that she been seen him sleep on the couch so she didn't think nothing of it so when she went to go take the kids to school she put the covers on and then after she put the covers on him she went took him to school came back he was still on the couch that's when she discovered him with foam in his mouth she called the police and it went from there but here's my thing at what point did she discover him on a couch and at what point did the brother discover him on the floor somebody's not telling the truth i'm gonna tell you that right now somebody's lying and something doesn't make sense whether you agree with it or not i think at this point you could just agree that something doesn't make sense in this whole situation here right so here's what i'm gonna do before we even get further 
um we're going to get into the article that's on double xl make sure you hit that thumbs up button so we can get this video into the algorithm and if you're not subscribed to the platform already make sure you do so now all right now let's get into it now the article in double xl will read quote on monday september 9th the atlanta police department shared an incident report that gives the accounts of rich homie kwan's girlfriend and brother the last people to see the rapper alive on september 5th the day he died Rich Homie Kwan's brother, Andre Munford, reportedly told police that Munford woke up around 3 a.m. and saw the rapper asleep on the floor by the kitchen with food in his mouth. His brother told the officer the scene was very unusual and he picked Kwan up off the floor and put him on the couch. Kwan's girlfriend, Amber Williams, also gave an account to the police. She woke up at 6.45 a.m. to take her kids to school and saw Kwan on the couch. When she returned, Kwan was still on the couch and she went to their room and went back to bed. Around 11 a.m., she awoke to find Kwan still on the couch. When she went to check on him, she noticed his body was cold and he was not breathing and she immediately called 911. Now, I guess we know how he ended up from the floor on the couch. According to them, the brother picked him up and put him on the couch. Once again, <laughs> another red flag which doesn't make sense to me. You find your brother on the floor with food still in his mouth, quote unquote, asleep. He didn't think that was strange. And when he picked him up from the floor and he noticed that he didn't move, because nine times out of 10, that's when he was deceased, right? Because he had food still stuck in his mouth. When he picked him up, he didn't find it strange that it was food in his mouth and he was, quote unquote, asleep. He didn't find it strange that when he picked him up, he didn't wake up. Right? With food in his mouth, all in all, he just picked him up and put him on the couch. Doesn't make sense. And also, why didn't he tell the girlfriend? That would have been the first thing I did. Yo, you know Rich Homie Kwan, he was, he was on the floor with food in his mouth. We should go check on him. We should see if he's okay. Wouldn't that make sense? And guess what, right? Once I would have seen him on the floor... That would have been enough for me to try to wake him up and see if he's okay. Now, at that point, we would have realized he's not okay. Then we would have been able to call the cops. Then maybe we could have saved him if something was wrong. But to pick him up and put him on a couch, knowing he just, quote unquote, fell asleep with food in his mouth. And you didn't bother to wake up because clearly he didn't wake up. And you didn't call the cops. Something doesn't sound right. And in the article, it says when she went to check on him, she noticed his body was cold and he was not breathing. And she immediately called 911. Now, when somebody's body is cold, that means it's been there for a while. Right. You, you see how that's coming along? So it's not like he was there for an hour. No, he's been there for a while if his body was, in fact, cold. And when I say a while, I mean, like he's been deceased laying there for a while and to break it down a little more scientifically if you want to say it that way um there's something called alga mortis that sets in i think it's the third stage of death and usually when you pass away your body begins to be at two degrees celsius during the first hour and then after that it pretty much decreases one degree celsius per hour until your body is pretty much cold then it gets to the point after that stage, rigor mortis sets in, and that's when your body tends to stiffen up. So nine times out of 10, if she found them there cold, once again, he was there for a few hours. And now that we know that maybe the brother was the guy, because if y'all remember the 911 call, everybody heard a voice in the background and we wondered who that was. And um, now I guess I'm assuming that that was Rich Homie Kwan's brother. But when they called the police, why didn't he mention that they found him last night on the floor? Well, he found him on the floor with food still stuck in his mouth. I think that would have made more sense because I think at that point is when he was actually deceased. From his body being cold already to the brother saying he found him on the floor with food in his mouth and still didn't decide to call the cops then. Yeah. Right. And another thing that that's kind of a red flag, which doesn't make sense, because now that we know, being that the woman came out, the 911 call came out, we know that the brother found him. And that means that the brother was around. We heard that she called the father before she called the police. So why the family told TMZ that they were shocked that he passed away when they should have already knew that. 
right? If the brother was there, the father was there as well. That they're part of the family, right? So if they was there, why when they spoke to TMZ, the, the, the family said they were shot. They didn't know. They didn't know the cause of death or none of that. But then once again, Boozy, right? Boozy comes out with a tweet stating that he heard rich homie Quan passed away from ODing. So if the brother was there, the father was there, and the family was shocked to find that he passed away and didn't know the cause of death, how did Boozy know? Who did he get the word from? Right? The brother just said he didn't even know that he was passed away. He picked him up, put him on the couch, and left him there. So who told Boozy that he passed away from ODing when the medical examiner didn't even know the cause of death? Something ain't right, y'all. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole thing, the incident report, and the brother now being implicated into everything. Um, Do y'all think foul play is going on? Or maybe it's just... We're overthinking, right? Let us know in the comments, man. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.